Well, hello, lads and addicts. I hope you're all doing well. We're here once again for the grind. It's been a little while. I'm probably going to move it to once a week on Sunday for you guys. It means that I can obviously talk to you a little bit more about stuff that I've got on my mind. Issues as well without obviously going into too much of the trading things. Trading videos will be back soon. Unfortunately, I got a little bit overexcited with Team of the Year. And uh, I believe I spent about a quarter of a million, which I know isn't a lot to a lot of people. But it was most of my money. So let me know down below, guys. I really, really am interested. How much did you guys spend for Team of the Year? Um, either real money or coins. I know there's some people that spent millions and didn't get anything. And there's people that spent like 10,000 and got really good. So let me know down in the comments, guys. It would be absolutely brilliant to know from you. But what we'll do first, we'll show you my trade pile. You know, you haven't seen it for a little while. Been opening packs on here as well. West Car was in a bronze pack. I was going to bring him to you, but didn't really see a point. Not a bad bronze pack, obviously, to go and get West Car. Uh, we've just gone along here again. Powell, I'm not sure of his value to be honest. So I just threw him up for 150 start. Then we do get Walcott, literally been up not for very long. I have no idea what this guy's value is to be honest. I had the inform obviously, but although he's in 41212, he is right wing, so not the best one. Maybe you can let me know down in the comments, guys. Literally, this video is being recorded at 11:59, so should be up before this guy sells. So maybe you can let me know. It would be interesting, and I'll let you know if you were spot on with your price. A couple more players. As always, guys, I have been opening packs. i show you my leaderboards at the moment. haven't played any more games at the moment, I'm afraid. We uh, really haven't had that much time, to be honest. Uh, I've been getting the videos out to you, but they've not really been gameplay related. Started, obviously, the manager mode again. So if you haven't seen the manager mode, I will pop that down in the description for you. Then we've got trading, minus 300,000. Not the best in the world, but as I said, I did uh, get overexcitable with the, the packs there. Mr. Matt HD Gamer up here with 2 million. It's just ridiculous. He's also got one of the top squads. So he's he's doing very well for himself. Well done, Matt. Uh, then we've got valuable teams. Script Ramon there, just ridiculously high. Uh, mine at a whole one and a half because all my players are on the other account. And then the same as the team. I don't really have anything. If we show you my active or my squads, none of them have really got anything in. Uh, the same as if we show you my players, there's not really anything here that's worth money it's just randoms that i've opened out of packs so we'll get this account back i'm running soon guys so please don't panic about that what i wanted to talk to you about is what you requested the marlos situation a lot of you are saying why has he gone up shane why has he gone up and i'll show you here now we'll go oh and it's not saved brilliant so we'll go silver we'll go st liga de brazil and sao paulo most of you will know, obviously, this guy is currently worth an absolute fortune, and he is. It's ridiculous price. Um, around 250, 300, that's a little bit cheap, but still over 200,000. This has got 22 minutes left and already got 100,000 bid. The reason, guys, is he's leaving Liga de Brazil. He's, I believe, I'm not sure of the club name, maybe you can let me down below. He is signed for a club in Ukraine, the Ukrainian League, which obviously isn't an ultimate team. That means he's no longer going to be available in packs. I'm not sure if that's happened now or is happening soon, but he's no longer going to be available in packs. So everyone's trying to grab Marlos right now. I know at one point he rose to something ridiculous, like 600,000. Seems to be stabilizing a bit more now at 200,000. So if you're going to get him, my advice would be now. If he's still in packs, I would get him now. If he's not in packs, probably still get him now because he's only going to rise. So... Just be wary of that, guys. If you're looking for a mile loss, he is going to continuously rise because of this Ukrainian move. I, I'm guessing that's going ahead. I haven't seen anything to um, change my mind on that. And the other quick thing, just before we end, guys, I've got a video coming this afternoon. It's an unbelievable squad review. So let me know down in the comments if you're uh, excited about that. I know I haven't brought a squad review to you guys in a while, and I do apologize for that. I do love doing them. This one is well worth the wait, guys. So let me know all that down below. If you did enjoy the video and you didn't know about this Marlos situation, please do rate the video. It helps me more than you'll ever know. If you're not subscribed, guys, please do subscribe. Uh, channel's going great. Didn't lose too many either with the um, with the YouTube deletion of accounts. So that was very, very good. Other than that, guys, just, you, you're all legends. I'll, I'll do my usual comment down below. You seem to enjoy those. So hope you have a wonderful uh, morning, guys. I will post a video later this afternoon off the squad. And until next time, I'll catch you all later. Bye.